been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream and I want to go over something really quick here and that is our RV cover for the winter. I talked about it on a previous video and I want to show you what it's like, what it looks like. It's already on. I'll show you some of the key features and of course I'll include the link down below. They make them for travel trailers, fifth wheels, class A's, class C's. This is a pretty good quality cover. As far as I can tell, we'll see how long it lasts. Now the manufacturer offers a three year warranty, so uh, that's something I guess, as long as they're a pretty decent company, which they're called Avell, that's E-E-V-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, and they're out of Carlsbad, California. I don't know that much about them, but we'll find out with this cover how it works out. So let me show you the cover. Sorry about the wind, it's very windy today. Uh, we have some storms coming through. You can see up top the pockets, and of course all those pockets are so it's breathable. Uh, there's three ties and those flaps are pretty heavy. They give you a little throw bag that just clips into the, the uh, buckle that's on the end of the strap. You throw it underneath, you know, fill it with some rocks or whatever, throw it underneath, and uh, then unbuckle it and buckle it on the other side and then cinch it tight. The top is a three layer marine grade fabric. It's waterproof. It's not water resistant. They say it's waterproof. It's called Marinex. I don't know how good that is, but we'll find out. Of course, you gotta protect you know, all the sharp corners as best as possible. And then the back is the same way. Um, these buckles are really heavy. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, as far as my uh, my hand to that buckle it's uh, it's pretty heavy I don't think this is going to go anywhere those zippers are really nice they have some velcro that holds the zipper closed if you undo the velcro that's down at the bottom on both of those zipper pouches in my case and then unzip it then at that point you can get inside the camper without taking the whole cover off and they place the zippers you can see there's one all the way in the back there's one there one here and then one there so it makes it to where if you have a door in the middle or a door in the back you can unzip just that panel I really like this cover I uh, I think it's going to do a good job we'll have to see in the long run how well it lasts as far as the Sun as far as the winter goes I'll be able to tell right away how long it lasts how it looks uh, if it's waterproof in fact uh, we washed and waxed the camper like I mentioned the other day got it really clean let it dry completely and then uh, put this cover on and it wasn't too difficult I went ahead and got on the roof and just rolled it out uh, whenever you're putting it on your vehicle uh, your fifth wheel whatever it may be they mention a tag in the instructions which the instructions are kind of vague and it just says make sure that the tag that says S2 is in the front. Well, all you have to do is look for a tag like you would find in the seam of your clothes, um, you know, in the collar of your shirts or whatever. And it's uh, about so big, and in this case it was yellow, and it says front towards camper. Uh, and then at that point it's pretty self-explanatory. You can tell which side goes out and which side stays in. So, yeah, I got on just in time yesterday uh, to get dark. <laughs> and then uh, we knew it was going to rain today so we'll be able to check it out and I will give you an update further down the road later down the road huh alright so here's the deal after I got done shooting this video and I put the camera away the rain and the wind let loose so I came back out and got a couple shots once the rain let up a little bit so you can see how it beads off the top and how it's handling the wind so far so let's check that out all right, so you can see that as it rains, <laughs> which I caught some rain here, it just kind of beads off. Uh, this stuff here holds it a little bit more, but it is, this is a breathable fabric down below. But up top, you can just see that stuff just beads right off there, which is great. That's fantastic. That's definitely... Uh, barrier of some kind that's on there very cool and again down here this is a breathable fabric it's not the same as the top stuff the stuff up top is uh, again a marine grade and it's waterproof uh, this down here is actually meant 
for the water to kind of penetrate through and then uh, of course it being breathable it evaporates so that's pretty cool I, I like that. that that's awesome Wow well guys I'm telling you the covers doing pretty good the winds not exactly uh, weak today you can tell by our flag it's uh, getting whipped around pretty good and the winds coming out of the south which is really odd but it's holding pretty strong it's it's doing a good I job have it up against like my my jacks uh, my stabilizer jacks so it might rub a couple places there and I wouldn't be surprised if I don't get maybe a small hole in a couple spots um, they do give you a couple of patch panels that's kind of nice that are about uh, one foot by 10 inches I guess so uh, 12 by 10 and that would be kind of nice I mean if you had to repair it at some point so again the length going to be down below I'm going to put the length for a standard class C uh, travel trailer you click on the link it's going to take you to that product and then if you look in the heading you're going to see there's a bunch of different options and some reason they list everything by inches they're talking about feet they they mislabeled it but you can choose the size that you need now in this case I bought one for a 22 to 24 foot travel trailer and I have a 24 foot travel trailer the box is uh, 22 foot the roof is 20 foot you know how it kind of goes up and then it angles um, and it covers it fine it, it does a good job it, it comes over the edges just like I thought those pockets are still aerating the roof of course that side to side is pretty standard but front to rear not bad I could have went with a 20 to 22 foot and probably made it work too all right guys so that's my video for today and I hope this helps you out and makes your mind up one way or the other and as always I hope to see you out there bye